All right. For this video, I'm going to be talking about my daily routine and my rules that I have created for myself about my daily routine. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because I think that I need a reminder about these things, especially because of my memory problems. And so I have organized this video into three different categories. The first category is diet. The second category is sleep habits. And the third category is entertainment. So I am going to start with the diet category. So what led to me coming up with these rules? I had a lot of trouble with my depression for a long time, and so I developed unhealthy coping habits. And one of those habits was unhealthy eating habits. I had a problem with overeating. That would have probably been a better way to say it, but for some reason my brain is having trouble with picking out the right words. Anyways, I struggled for a long time with overeating. I used to plan out eating for many times during a single day i used to plan out eating a snack for just about every hour that i was awake during the day and i had difficulty not only with keeping track of that but i had difficulty with actually forcing myself to eat that much and so eventually I got tired of it and I, over time I had modified my own rules. It took me a long time to get to that point. It took me a long time to stop being so stubborn and for me to actually be able to change my routine in a way that worked out better for me. And so... I had unhealthy sleeping habits, and I also had unhealthy habits as far as how I organized what I did for entertainment. And so, as a result of those unhealthy habits making my depression worse for a long time, I had to learn through a lot of trial and error which things worked out better for me and which things didn't work out. And if you're wondering why I'm turning away from the camera every so often and reaching uh, this arm out, it's because I'm using my Nintendo Switch for lighting because right now it is nighttime and it is, and it is dark in my room and about all I have for lighting is my lamp and also my Nintendo Switch so every so often I keep having to touch the stick on my Joy-Con controller so that I can prevent my Switch from going into sleep mode so that I can still benefit from the lighting that's coming from my TV as a result of my Switch being on. And anyways, now that that's cleared up, I want to explain that it took me a long time for me to figure out these rules related to my current routine. It took a lot of trial and error. It took a lot of me being 
stubborn and having to learn the hard way, which things did not work out well for me. And so, unfortunately, it took me way longer than I would have liked it to for me to learn the things that I now know and try to apply to make my life easier. And so... I want to talk about these rules and why I created them, and I will probably end up leaving some things out, but I think I got the most important things written down in my notes right now. So for the diet category, I have a rule for how much snacks I can have in a day. So according to my rules that I've created for myself, as long as I am at home and awake, I am only allowed to have a snack per even number hour up until the nearest even number hour that I have had my dinner. Once it is past that time, I am not allowed to count any further even number hours of the day towards snacks that I can have. And if I do, then I have to count that as part of my scheduled snacks for the next day. So in other words, I would, if I break the rules, I have to balance it out in some way by subtracting from what I am allowed to eat in a future day. And I count a meal, such as my dinner or my breakfast, lunch, whatever, I count a meal like that as a snack. However, because sometimes I might have seconds, whether it be for breakfast or for dinner, I have to count, or I have to allow myself to be able to have two meals count in place of a snack for a single even number hour. By that, I mean that I can let up to two meals count for a single even number hour without having to subtract from snacks that I can have the next day. Actually, so that I don't have to keep reaching back, I'm just going to keep my switch controller in my lap. Anyways... I need to figure out where I left off in my notes. My bad if I'm speaking too slowly. My bad if I'm not making any sense. But I'm mainly making this... I'm mainly making this video for myself. And... For mainly the purpose of me trying to improve my memory. So I'm not really trying to make this video entertaining, I'm more so trying to make it informative, mainly for myself, and hoping that if anybody wants to watch it, that they may learn something and benefit from it as well. Anyways... I do have exceptions uh, for these rules. So, for example, if I was to get sick, and 
lose my lunch, so to speak, I would allow myself to eat more or intake more liquids as needed so that I can not only get more energy if I need it for health reasons, but also so that if my body needs to get rid of something, then I may need to eat and or drink in order to help my body get rid of some bad things that it get, needs to get rid of. So health things like that, some major health related things like that, I have to account for those things because I don't want to just create rules that I end up trying to strictly adhere to in ways that may make my life harder. So I try to make my rules make sense and have leeway here and there so that I can account for things that are needed. And that is where I failed in the past. I ended up either being too strict with myself or I ended up exploiting technicalities of my own rules to try and fuel my unhealthy coping habits. And so I try to make rules that doesn't go to either extreme. I try to make more balanced rules that make sense and help improve the quality of my life. And I am not perfect at that, but I have to make rules like this because I do not trust my brain to be able to go about decision making in a way that people are normally able to. I am not able to do that because of the way that I think, but also the way that my brain functions. So I have to come up with rules for myself like this because of that. I thought it was important to explain that, but before I get too far into details about my actual rules for myself. Just so that if anybody's thinking, oh, this guy's crazy, what is he going on about? You know, I'm not trying to sound that way. I'm just trying to explain that my brain does not function properly or at least what other people consider to be proper functioning. And so I have to be extra careful because of that so that I don't end up doing things that end up making my life too chaotic. Because it's already chaotic enough. And I don't want my depression to get worse. Sorry if I went on too much of a rant there. And I have a strict rule of no more than three meals a day and no more than three drinks in a day. Now I have more specific rules about what I count as meals and what I count as drinks. And I have exceptions based on needing extra stuff for health reasons, or in some cases, not being able to have as much for health reasons. And I may need to change things later in my life to account for me getting older or depending on what happens with my health I may need to change things based off of things that my doctor tells me and so I count usually what either fits in a single reasonable sized bowl or what can reasonably fit on a single plate without overfilling the plate. So I try not to stack too many things on a single plate or in a single bowl. I try not to make it 
overflowing. And so I try to count what can reasonably fit in a bowl or on a plate as a meal. And if I'm in a situation where it does where it doesn't involve a bowl or a plate, I try to be reasonable about my portions. And so, I don't know how to explain that in a whole lot of detail, and I don't think it's that important to explain every little detail about my rules. I just want to explain the main details so that I can give people a better idea about why I have created these rules and how I actually go about living my own life because it is very complicated and very difficult for me at times. And so, anyways, sometimes, for example, if I have soup, I count soup as a meal well, to be more specific, I count a bowl of soup as a meal. But I also, depending on how watery the soup is, I may count it as a drink as well because I don't want to intake too much liquid and then have issues with having to go to the restroom too much or at inconvenient times. I also don't want to intake too much liquid and then end up depriving my body of the nutrients that it needs. And I also want to make sure I get enough liquids so that I don't have an excess of things left in my body for too long. So intaking the right amount of liquid helps my body to get rid of enough bad things without getting rid of too much good things. And so, sometimes I count ice cream as a drink because it can melt and therefore be in liquid form. And so sometimes I might count it as a drink, but I only allow myself to do that up to once per day. And I don't count an entire bowl as a drink, but more so something in like a cup such as like a Sunday cup or I even count a cone because even though it may not technically be a cup, to me, it's in a shape that's close enough to a cup that I still count it that way. I know that that's, in a way, maybe exploiting technicalities of my own rules, but sometimes I don't want to have too much sugar, so that's why I have made that rule for myself because a lot of the liquids that I intake tends to be sugary. And so I often prefer not to drink the tap water. And so I don't always actually have water bottles with me, so there's that. Anyways... I do need to make sure that I get enough sugar throughout the day because I have problems with my blood sugar being low at times because if I do not have enough sugar, then my blood sugar might get low and then I get weak and I start to feel sick and that makes it difficult for me to do things that I need to be able to do. And so I need to make sure that I get enough sugar. Anyways. Um, food, that I no food that I would normally include in a meal, such as a hot dog, for example, I might 
count as a snack, but I only want to allow myself to count something like that as a snack once per day, because if I count too many things like that as a snack, then I'll end up eating too much and I will get too full. Also like to try to have a variety of snacks, not only for health reasons, but also because I don't want to get too full from eating snacks. And then as a result of that, not eat enough of quote unquote real food. I don't want to eat too much junk food. I do not count medicine as food because medicine I count as an exception to my rules because medicine is something that at certain times I might have to take for health reasons. And if I ever get really hungry due to my even number hour rule not allowing for me to have enough for me to get full, sometimes I allow myself to eat extra snacks if I don't have enough of regular food. Um, I may allow myself at times if I think it's needed to have extra snacks, but then during periods of time where I have more food, I may not allow myself to have as much snacks in order to try to balance things out. And I try to keep track of this stuff. Um, I'm going to move on to the next category, which is sleep habits. Normally, I am not able to sleep much past 10 a.m. Normally, I do not want to sleep past 10 a.m. I try to set my alarm no later than 10 a.m. And I try to not go to bed before 11 p.m. And I prefer to get to bed closer to midnight. And if I get to bed past midnight, I would like to set my alarm for 9 a.m. But if I get to bed past 1 a.m., I would like to set my alarm for 10 a.m. This is to account for me trying to get enough sleep, but also me not wanting to overdo it and end up sleeping too late when I've got to get up at some point and get things done. And I usually do not allow myself to take naps because of sleep paralysis and also because I don't want to disrupt my sleep schedule. I also don't like to go to sleep with my bedroom door open because sleep paralysis. I don't know how to explain how going to sleep with... I don't even know how to explain how going to sleep with my door open results in me having issues with sleep paralysis. I don't know how it does. I just know that it has in the past. So I prefer to go to sleep without having my bedroom door open because sleep paralysis is not a very fun experience. And I'm going to move on to the entertainment category. So this category is one that I 
have not paid much attention to recently because I've had a lot of time-limited things to pay attention to. So this category has become mostly outdated because of so many exceptions that I've had to account for. And so at some point in time to help me set priorities and to help me figure out what things I wanted to do for entertainment and me having the desire to do a variety of things but also wanting to not just act off of impulse. I used to come up with plans like this and so I came up with some days I wanted to play video games other days I wanted to do things like watch TV shows or watch movies or read books or comics or something else like that. And I would go back and forth where one day I did one thing and one day I did another thing. And so because of having time limited things related to video games. I had to allow myself to make exceptions and allow myself to play video games more because I had to account for limited time events in video games, mostly in Warframe, but I also had to account for limited time windows for being able to play video games with friends and maybe even family. And so... I haven't really watched TV shows or movies for a long time because I've had so much limited time things that have occurred. And so... I would like at some point to be able to get back to being able to watch movies and shows at least every now and then. But for now, it doesn't seem like I can fit it into my schedule anytime soon. And so my goal was to get back to that way of going about seeking entertainment. My goal was to get back to that way of doing things during 2024, but I haven't been able to do that yet. And so... I have, I guess, it would be a fourth category that I tend to forget about. I want to be able to take enough time for me to properly organize my thoughts about things, and I refer to this as personal reflections, and so I often get too caught up in the motions and I forget to do enough personal reflections, or I end up not having those personal reflections be detailed enough, and so my goal is to have detail. My goal is to have enough detail and enough personal reflections at the appropriate times for me to be able to properly organize my thoughts and feelings about things so that I can improve my memory, but also overall improve the quality of my life as a result of that. And so oftentimes it is very difficult for me to be able to block out or block out distractions. It is often difficult for me to be able to block out distractions. And so a lot of things like that with me getting distracted result in me being behind on things and that ends up making it difficult for me to be able to stick to these rules that I have written down. But overall, I 
even if I may not be perfect at following my own rules for myself, I still have to try my best to do so within reason. And if reason is in question, then I might need to change my rules. But anyways, I have to try in some ways to be strict with myself, but in other ways to be more forgiving of myself and to be nicer to myself and give myself some leeway when it is appropriate to do so and within reason because I need to make my life easier for myself. But anyways, that's it for this video. Peace.